Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and when I originally recorded this video, I somehow managed to not record the gameplay, or maybe I had that other technical error where I tried to record two things at once and file name overlap didn't let it happen. So, you will have my original reaction footage, but the gameplay I've just recreated to try and make things make sense. Welcome back to Twilight Princess. Now, who did our new small imp friend want us to meet? in this mysterious location. A cloaked figure, the Sheikah eye symbol on the back of her cloak. Hello, I am Wolf. Uh, my name is Link. Can you understand me at all? Midna? <laughs> you remembered my name? What an honor for me. So, this is the one for whom you were searching? He's not exactly what I had in mind, but I'll guess he'll do. Uh, uh, hello? Ma'am? You were imprisoned? Yeah, these, these monsters came and just absolutely knocked me out. I mean, fuck, woof, I don't human language. I am sorry. Poor thing, he has no idea where this is, or what's happened. So don't you think you should explain to him what you've managed to do? You owe him that much. Twilight Princess. <laughs> Well, I'm not the princess of the Twilight Realm, but I suppose the title works. Since I managed to make this place all... You know what, I'm about to do the exposition anyway. Listen carefully. This was once the land where the power of the gods was said to slumber. This was once the kingdom of Hyrule. But that blessed kingdom has been transformed by the king that rules the twilight. It has been turned into a world of shadows, ruled by creatures who shun the light. Oh. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Classic Hyrule Castle music. Let's see. Four royal guards directly in front of the throne, several in the throne room itself, facing down what kind of foe? Many monsters emerging from the mist. Monsters that seem to have overran those soldiers with ease. Yikes. And here must be that Twilight King. Hmm. Not that menacing of a presence, but with the monsters he controls. It is time for you to choose. Surrender or die. Oh yes, a question for all the land and people of Hyrule. Life or death?
And the prince princess chose surrender. Well, not much else you can overdo. Uh, uh, not much else you can do when you're overwhelmed that easily. She made the wise choice, I suppose. Her kingdom will live. Twilight covered Hyrule like a shroud, and without light, the people became as spirits. Within the twilight, they live on, unaware that they have passed into spirit forms. All the people know now is fear, Fear of a nameless evil. I see. And though you've surrendered your people to this, I assume you seek to overcome it? The kingdom succumbed to twilight, but I remain its princess. Hence Midna's little joke about my name or title is the Twilight Princess. You you understand. I am Zelda. You don't have to look so sad. We actually find it to be quite livable. I mean, is Perpetual Twilight really all that bad? Midna, this is no time for levity. The Shadow Beasts have been searching far and wide for you. Why is this? <laughs> Why indeed! You tell me! <laughs> Time has grown short. The guard will soon make his rounds. You must leave here, quickly. Pleasure to meet you, your highness. Wish it were under better circumstances. And no one will know that someone else has been in this room, with the door pushed all the way open. Yep, guards coming. Not that way, the guard's coming. Boy, he's prompt. How about the window we came in? Yeah, that checks out. <sighs> so, little imp, whose name is apparently Midna, uh... Where are we to go? What are we to do about this situation? <laughs> well, do you understand where we are now? Hyrule Castle. I guess a promise is a promise, so I'll let you go back to where you first tumbled into Twilight. But are you really sure you should be going back? Are you sure you aren't forgetting anything important? Uh, Colin, Ilya, how do you know about them? <laughs> do you want to save them? Well, in that case, little Midna would be happy to help you. But, well, you'd have to be my servant. And like a servant, you'd have to do exactly as I say. Why don't you go back? Take a little time, and give it some thought. <laughs> Wait, well, I'm gone. Well, guess I'll return to Ordon and give some thought to whether I re-enter the twilight to save my friends. The nice convenient portal back to 
one of the springs. Oh, that's right. I forgot to mention one thing. Though you may have left the darkened realm, you haven't transformed back to your former self. And you won't any time soon. Now why could that be? <laughs> See you later! What? She's just abandoned me? As a wolf near my hometown. No one's going to recognize me in this state. And... Do you notice anything off about Link's shadow here? She said she'd see me later, but I'm not actually alone. So, um, what next? What? <laughs> Did you think I'd disappeared? Listen, there's another thing I forgot to tell you. Don't think you can just run off and save your friends, because you can't. Just beyond that bridge, the land is covered in twilight. Last time, a shadow beast pulled you through the Curtain of Twilight. But if you want to go that way again, or this time, you'll need the cooperation of someone from the Twilight. Like me? So you really have no choice but to do what I say. Saving your friends and all that? Well, that'll depend on your actions. Because you never can trust words, you know? Right now, I want a short- uh, I want Pokemon Sword and Shield. That'll suit me. Really? I mean, people weren't super fond of those games. Fine, give me the actual weapons. You do understand me, don't you? <laughs> so, what do you plan to do? While you're here dawdling, the twilight continues to expand. Come on, hurry it up! <sighs> so if I'm to get a sword and shield from anywhere, it has to be from the village. But where would I find a sword and a shield in the village? I know Russell owns a sword. That'd be a good place to start. And, uh, I also don't want to deal with monsters right outside my house. Well, still had invincibility frames. Oh well. Wait! Squirrel? Thank you for taking care of those bad guys. They made both the village and forest a mess. They kidnapped the village children, but I know you're not one of them. I can tell because you smell like the trees of Ordon. If you run into any trouble, try talking to the animals. We under- we animals understand one another, so you'll be alright. Thank you, Mr. Squirrel. Now... How am I going to get Russell's sword? Oh, how did it come to this? The children, please say nothing's happened. Please forgive your good-for-nothing father. Well, unfortunately, going and talking to my friend there probably isn't a good idea while I'm like this. But I can sneak into Russell's house. Hmm. Nothing here, though. At least not yet. The mayor's over there talking to one of the villagers. Uh, the one who told me about... Uh, ba ba da ba, -ba -da, hawk. So, the shield is still in your house, right? Uh, yeah, it should be in our storage loft. Good. Go grab it, quick as you can. 
Russell got wounded pretty bad, so he can't go search for the kids. I'll take over for him. But Russell had a sword, Mare, and he still got hurt. If you're unarmed, you're done for. I'll be fine. The sword we were gonna pres- gun- uh, goin' to present to the royal family should still be at Russell's house. Oh yeah? Alright, I understand, Mare. I'll hurry up and get that shield. You just wait here. Surprise! No good! Run! Shield in the house. That's not a bad bit of information you heard, huh? Ugh, look at that open window. This village is full of idiots. So... We should jump up there, but from where? From the rock directly in front of it. But that's guarded by our... ...friend there. He'll see us for sure if we enter the light. And I think we have to, to trigger things being available. M monster You've returned for more, haven't you? My... my daughter! Return her! And take this! Uh-oh. Someone's picked up a trick from watching me. Nope. And now that cat would give me some advice to help me, but I know the way. Come on, let's get up on that roof from there and scare that guy. Look at him, posing like he's all important. Wait until he sees us. Yep. We're gonna spook him. Whoa! He disappeared. But I'm sure he can swim. I'm sure it's okay. Yep. Yep. And into the house. Now, the shield is just up there. <laughs> found it! Found it! Yeah, so did I, Midna. Calm down. Bump the wall a couple of times and the shield falls loose. You got the Ordon shield. Press the target button to defend yourself, but beware, if it's touched by fire, it will burn. It looks... Kind of cheap. Hey, don't insult my villagers' craftsmanship. Alright then, next is a sword. Hurry up and get one. Well, they said that Russell had one. I think I need to, uh... Oh, forgot. There's an open window right here. And that's how I get out. Hmm? What was that sound? The children could not have returned, could they? I must go out and search one last time. You get inside the house. I have placed the sword that was to be our gift to Hyrule on the couch. If the mayor comes for it, please give it to him. But darling, your injuries... Yes, we must sneak past Russell's patrol. His torch only goes so far. That, and we must carefully avoid the light in front of the house so we don't startle his wife. And now... The sword that I was supposed to deliver. You got the Ordon sword. This is a sword crafted by Russell, the best swordsman in Ordon, as a tribute to the royal family. Well, being the best swordsman doesn't necessarily make him the best smith, but sure. Alright, looks like. Uh, I skipped a line. 
Alright, so now you have a sword. Looks like you can actually be useful when you concentrate. Alright, no more detours. I'm going to take you back into the twilight. Go back to the woods where you first transformed into that shape. Will do, Midna. Wait. Come to my spring. Okay. Mysterious voice I've never heard before. You have been transformed by the power of shadow. Come to me. What? Was this a trap? Beware, a shadow being. It approaches. Ah, this wasn't a trap. I'm just getting interrupted. No matter, a little bit of z target and jump attack should make quick work of this fool. And now, wow, the portal has changed color to the color it was when it worked for Midna. The stones on the spring, their patterns are glowing. Whoa. Little reverse water droplet and then that ball of light. Wait, a reverse water droplet? Was Tears of the Kingdom planned all the way back in- No. No, of course it wasn't. But here we have a spirit of the spring. Wow. What a cool, majestic animal. Some kind of spiritual goat. Oh, brave youth. Yes? I am one of four light spirits that protect Hyrule at the behest of the gods. I am Ordonna, and you will never hear about me in any other game in the franchise. You will hear about the other three though, probably, because they're named after the, the goddesses and their regions. The black beast you slayed was a shadow being. It had come to seize the power of light I wield. My brethren in Hyrule have already had their light stolen by these fell beasts. They brought a truck and ran over all the spirit animals. The entire kingdom has been reduced to a netherworld without the light. Light stolen is bad for us light spirits, you get it? The blight will not stop with Hyrule. Before long, the entire world of light will fall into the hands of the king who rules the twilight. This text speed is a little faster than I expected for the voice I was given. To save this land from the king of twilight, the lost light must be recovered. The three light spirits who have lost their light must be revived. There is but one who can revive them and redeem this land. You. Huh? You still have not discovered your true power, wisdom, or courage. <laughs> Those transformed by twilight usually cannot recover their original forms. Unless, if you were to return to Faron Woods, where you were first transformed, if you were to revive the light spirit, there, 
by the power of the light, spirit, you may find the means to regain your other state of being. I see. Having the magical light returned to myself will remove the twilight that's put me in its form. Got it. Thank you, Ordonna. I will probably never see you again. At least not speak to you directly. And now we broach the barrier of the twilight. Link gives a little sniff. And... Hey! Look! The far on woods that you know so well, they're now covered in twilight. You might not be able to come back here, but do you still want to go? I will, Midna. In the next episode. Oh, I accidentally hit a button. Never mind, we're doing it now. Whoop, whoop! Hmm. The majestic far on woods covered in twilight. Uh. Hmm. So these are the weapons you use in your world? You're holding them wrong. Uh, okay, you know how to swing the sword. I understand. You really think this thing can slay the creatures of twilight? I don't know, maybe, but I suggest you stop wearing the shield over your one uncovered eye. It's a good idea to be able to see when you swing one of those. Uh, well, I won't use these, but I'll hang on to them for you. Thanks. Alright, a promise is a promise. I trust you enough to help. In exchange for my help, though, I need you to gather some things for me. Look, I can't tell you the details now, but it'll be easy. Trust me. I don't know if I do trust you. But enough about that. Do you hear that noise? It's the lamentation of the spirit that had its light stolen. Where in the world could it be? <laughs> Better get going, don't you think? Don't blame me for your world's fate if you don't hurry up and find that light. Right. Come on, snap to it. Right, gotta go be the hero, gotta go save the light. Oh god, that's a Steven Universe game. Well, I'll save the light in the next episode. Bye.